uh, China is, a, is, is already today the leading market globally. Um, not only because it's the biggest market, um, but it's also by far the youngest market. So there are a lot of young uh, customers that f are first time buyers of, uh, uh, of vehicles and demands of the customers are in many regards more advanced than the, re than the requirements of customers in other markets. So I think we can really say China is and will even more so in the future be the global uh, uh, number one automotive market. And I think we, the challenges in th here in this market is we have many new competitors, many new brands. I think um, in our case, um, we had very, very efficient epidemic uh, countermeasures. Um, had no impact from COVID-19 affected employees. I think the whole, the whole epidemic prevention program set up by the local CDC and the local government proved to be very efficient. On top of it, the government provided us also with the necessary financial measures in order to support us during the time of the crisis. This helped us, but this also helped our partners, suppliers and dealers to keep the business up and running during the time of the epidemic. These are really the major trends here in China, but also globally. When we talked about the uh, electrification, I think we all are aware that uh, CO2 emissions is a key reality and we have to work all together against the climate change. So this is why the electrification of our, uh, of our fleet In China, we can we bring uh, these ideas then to products. We can export as China these products to the world. But I think we can also bring new ideas and help uh, also other countries on this approach. So I think opening up for people, for money, um, it's, a, it's the right strategy to go. I'm totally fine. And personally, I'm here because uh, uh, I find it very challenging and inspiring to work in China. Uh, I like to live here.